Sonia here doing my review for the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Foundation Brush. So I got this in the mail about two days ago um, and even though I haven't had too long to test it out, my first big mistake was that I chose the wrong shade. My screen resolution let me down, this looked a lot lighter than it actually is. This is the golden beige. So it's quite a dark tone um, with sort of yellowy undertones and as soon as I put it on yesterday I looked like an Oompa Loompa. Gave me a very orange face. Um, that was my mistake obviously. Uh, if you have darker skin this is probably the shade for you. But having said that I did leave it on for about 4 hours yesterday to try it out uh, to see how it actually lasted and it pleased me. It's quite easy to use. You just twist the top and the foundation comes out through the top of the brush um, and then you just blend it on the back of your hand into the actual brush and then just apply it to your face um, with sort of like a light to medium coverage it doesn't uh, appear too heavy which is good I don't really like having really heavy coverage feeling like I'm caked in foundation um, which is really useful and I love the fact that it has a brush attached onto the end that means you never lose your brush and you don't have to apply it with your finger, so you just don't get excess oils on your face when you're applying it. Um, the two negatives I would have about it is that after about two hours, um, it defined every single pore on my face, so it seeped into my skin. Um, and I'd already exfoliated and moisturised beforehand, so that was a bit of a letdown. But I have noticed that that has happened with most of the foundations that I've tried, so I think it's actually my skin that's the problem and not the actual foundation. Um, the second thing is probably that it says it's non-transfer, but I did get some on my sleeve yesterday when I was carelessly brushing my face. But again, that's probably just me being a little bit too careless. I really, really like that it's compact, so you can just take it around with you, um, and that it did last quite a while without making you break out. Actually, it didn't make me break out at all, which is really, really good because I always break out after foundation gets into my pores. Um, they do say it's got oily skin, so anyone with a little bit of fear of putting anything on their face because they'll break out, I didn't have a problem with that, and I'm pretty susceptible to breakouts, so that is a plus as well. All in all, I'd give it about a 3.5 or a 4 out of 5. I think I didn't really get the chance to see how well it blended because I did choose the wrong colour but that is not um, the product's fault, that is my fault. Um, and again I didn't like that it seeped into my skin after a couple of hours but other than that I would definitely recommend it. It's a really really good little tool and I absolutely love that it has a brush attached. Um, I hope that helped. I would buy it again, just I would definitely test the shade before I buy it. Thanks guys, have a lovely night.